The 17th century is a golden age for the island of Malta. It is the period of the great Maltese Baroque which changed the island from being a military fortress in the middle of the Mediterranean to a splendid cultural capital, enriched with theatres and palaces making it resemble a smaller version of Rome glittering under the sun. The 17th century is also remembered for two great Italian artists who defined the cultural history of Malta, Caravaggio and Mattia Preti. Their lives are so different they almost form a chiaroscuro, just like one of those paintings by Caravaggio, full of contrasts of light and shadow. The Lombard painter arrived in Malta at the beginning of the 17th century as a fugitive with a papal conviction for homicide. Mattia Preti, on the other hand, arrived 50 years later as a knight invited by the Grand Master. Caravaggio stayed on the island for only two years, Mattia Preti for 40. In Malta, Caravaggio produced only five paintings, Mattia Preti 400. Caravaggio, after an initial success, was imprisoned for a brawl and escaped from the island, while Mattia Preti slowly built his fortune here and became the official painter of the Order of the Knights of Malta, protected by the Grand Master, setting up a big workshop. Caravaggio died at the age of 39, abandoned in a hospital in Porto Ecole, and later thrown in a mass grave. Mattia Preti died in his bed at the age of 86, rich and famous, and was later buried with the highest honours in the conventual Church of the Knights. Two very different lives, but connected in one major way. The fact they left in Malta immortal masterpieces such as Caravaggio's beheading of St. John the Baptist, or Mattia Preti's monumental Baroque compositions. Masterpieces that leave a strong impression on the souls of those who admire them today, even after four centuries.